Hey everyone, today I've got a quick PC building tutorial for you. I'm gonna be showing you how to install a power supply in your PC with the cable connections to your motherboard. It's really quite simple to do. Today we're gonna to be installing this Corsair RM850E power supply in a Corsair IQ 4000D Airflow Mid-Tower PC case. And the motherboard we're using today is an ASUS Tough Gaming X670E plus Wi-Fi motherboard. If you're interested in any of the components I'm using in this build, they're all linked below in the description. But let's go ahead and dive right into installing this power supply unit in this PC. So let's prepare our power supply for installation. This is a fully modular power supply. So what that means is there's no cables coming out of it. We have to plug in all the cables that we're gonna be using for our build. Some power supplies are semi-modular, so some of the cables will already be pre-installed and you can't remove them, and then you just add a few cables that you might need. And some aren't modular at all, they just have a big bunch of cables coming right out of them. These fully modular ones are probably the easiest to use. So what we're gonna be using here is a few of our cables. We're not gonna use them all. We'll need this 24-pin ATX cable. So all PCs will use that one. This one here is a peripheral cable that plugs into a PATA port. We're not gonna be using that in our build. That's typically for older floppy disk drives or CD drives or even older case fans. We're not gonna use that. And then I'll need a PCIe cable for my graphics card. I'm running a 4060 Ti with an eight pin connector on it. So I'll be using that one. Some graphics cards, you may need two cables. Some you might only need six pins from one. So double check your graphics card. Also have a close look at these cables because they look very similar to the CPU cables. So I'm gonna be using this one right here for my build. Now, if you're running a newer PCIe 5.0 graphics card, higher end graphics card, you might need this cable instead of the standard PCIe cable. This is the 12 volt high power cable. So if your graphics card has that, you'll use this cable instead of the standard PCIe cable. And then you'll need a CPU cable or potentially two of them. My motherboard uses two of these connectors. Some motherboards use one and these look a lot like the PCIe connectors. So make sure you double check to distinguish between them. So I'm going to be using two of these. And again, you might only need one. And then we'll need a SATA power cable or two, depending on how many things we're running. These are typically used to run things like RGB, which is what I'm doing. I need two connections here. And then you might use these for things like two and a half inch solid state drives or hard drives as well. So you need to count out how many connections you need. Again, I need two, and these are daisy chained together. So we've got three on the one here. So I'm just gonna use the one cable. And then lastly, we'll need our main power cable that just plugs into the wall and then into the back of our power supply for powering our PC. So now we can go ahead and plug in all the cables we're using into our power supply. So we can go ahead and do that. We'll start out with the CPU cable here. Now do notice the one end is narrower than the other end. So the narrow clasp here goes into the PCIe CPU slot here. So we'll plug that in. Make sure you're putting it in in the correct direction. We'll do the second one as well. And make sure you grab the correct end. And then I've got my PCIe cable here. Now the split end goes to our graphics card. So make sure you do the other end. And again, double check all your connections that you're putting them in in the right way. And then our SATA cable. And then our 24 pin ATX cable, the split end goes into the power supply and then the 24 pin goes to the motherboard. And make sure they're all in all the way and seated correctly and we should be good to install this. So we're behind the back panel here on my PC and down here in the basement is where our power supply goes. Now if we have a look at our power supply, you can see the one side of it has a fair bit of venting there as well as the back and the way these work the air comes through the side and then shoots out the back of your PC here. Now we need to decide which way we'd like to mount this. So they're designed to either go with the fan up or with the fan down. I've installed them in both directions. On this one, I'm gonna be installing it with the fan down. This PC case actually has a screen here on the bottom for dust for having it facing down. So we're gonna be installing it facing down. I'll let you do your own research on which way you'd like to mount it. So we're gonna take our power supply, just watch the cables and wires if you've already got some of them installed and we're gonna slide this down into place. Like that. And then now we can access it here at the back. In my power supply box, there was four tiny screws for mounting the power supply to the case. 
these were a Phillips head. Make sure you're using the right size screwdriver. And I like to get these threaded in all four corners before I tighten them down. The one corner here in the top left is kind of off to the side. So now that they're all in, make sure it's in the proper spot and we'll tighten them down. Just like that. So now that our power supply is mounted, we can make any connections we need to at the back here. Most of my cables are gonna be fed through to the other side for connecting to the motherboard. So we'll start out here at the back. I've got two SATA connectors here. These are for my RGB lighting, my RGB hub. And again, this cable is kind of pigtailed together. So we'll go ahead and connect those. Now there is two directions on this. There's a little L on here. Make sure you are putting it in, in the correct direction. So we'll start out with the first one like that. And then I'll pick the second one here. So those are connected for my RGB lighting. Now, if you're installing a standard hard drive or solid state drive in your PC, these would typically get mounted in this area. I'm not installing one of these. I'm using NVMe drives on my motherboard, but these do require a SATA cable as well. So again, make sure they're the correct direction and plug that in to your hard drive or solid state drive. These do also require a different SATA cable that runs from here to your motherboard. And then we'll need to feed through all our other cables to the motherboard side. So typically our 24 pin connector here goes through on the side. You'll have to have a look where exactly it goes on yours. So that goes through on the side. Our PCIe cables for our graphics card typically get fed through the bottom here. And then our CPU cables typically get fed through at the top corner here. So we'll feed those through as well. And once that's done, we'll turn around our PC case and plug everything into the motherboard. So our 24 pin ATX connector plugs in here on the right hand side of the motherboard. There's a little clip on it here, so make sure you're plugging it in in the correct direction and we'll line that up. And give it a good push. And that should click into place. And then my eight pin PCIe cable here plugs into my graphics card. Now do keep in mind some graphics cards are only a six pin, some are an eight pin, some might use two of these and they do go in in a specific direction. So you can take the two of them, kind of push them together and there's only one way. So double check the pins that they're going in in the correct direction. We'll line that up and give it a good push and it should click into place. So my two CPU cables plug in way back here in the corner and there's not a lot of space because of my radiator and fans. So I'm gonna loosen off my radiator and fans. I'll lower them down. I'll leave the block attached to my CPU to give me a little bit more space. So there they are, my two eight pin CPU connectors in the top left hand corner of my motherboard. I'll try and plug those in. Again, make sure they're going in in the correct direction. There's the first one. And there's the second one. And there we go, I've got my radiator back installed on the top of my PC case. And you can go ahead and plug in your power supply cable into the back of your power supply and turn it on. And really it's that simple to install a power supply in your PC case. So I hope this quick PC building tutorial gave you value. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.